Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I thought I would do a video this morning because I have been reading comments on other people's <laughs> videos since I don't allow comments online and something uh, came up and I wanted to just let you guys know because some of you are probably thinking the same thing. You're probably thinking that my mother is a hypochondriac and she is not. Far from it. She is constantly dying, but she does it for attention and sympathy. A hypochondriac actually believes that there's something wrong with them. They're obsessed. They will go to doctors constantly with the complaints. Oh, uh, I had a, a pain in my knuckle. I know I'm going to have to have this finger amputated. It's probably cancer. You know, stuff like that. You know, all the way up to big things. A little chest pain is a heart attack waiting to happen as opposed to the fact that you just ate an entire pizza. So, uh, my mother doesn't do that. In fact, my mother will just go from being perfectly okay to dying. And, or she will come up with the most bizarre reasons as to why she has cancer or why she knows yesterday she had a stroke. And there were many, many times that we took my mother to the ER because of her complaints. And when she gets there, instead of showing major concern for her health and begging the doctors for this and that, uh, she'll deny that she was sick in the first place. Something's wrong with us for having brought her there. She did the same thing when she had a heart attack in the um, nursing home, not this last stay that, you know, when she was actually a nursing home resident, but when she was there for rehab after having cellulitis, I prepared the staff that she could, you know, be like dying any time, but they ignored that. And so when she was uh, in distress, as they called it, they brought her to the ER. And when she got to the ER, the minute I saw her, I knew that she was fine. I insisted that they were not doing an EKG. They thought I was crazy, but I wasn't. And when she was there, she said she had no idea why she was there, and she was bad at the nursing home for bringing her there. So, see, she threw the nursing home under the bus, and that's what she would do to us, too. We'd bring her to the ER, and she would act like, I don't know why they brought me here. I did not want to come here. There's nothing wrong with me, that whole thing. Here's what she fails to process. If she pretends to have a stroke, which she has done, makes her face all crooked, holds it in that position for a long time, she's expecting sympathy, something like maybe, oh, mom, let me put you to bed. I, oh, you're going to be okay. Um, but, but I'm dying, I'm dying. Well, I'll take care of you. I'll pray and you'll be healed. She wants all that stuff. She doesn't think ahead and realize that we might put her in the car and take her to the ER or that we might call an ambulance. She doesn't like that. She wasn't after that kind of attention. She was after the attention and the sympathy of those that she wants to torment <laughs> and make them worry. She doesn't give a shit about the doctor at the ER. She doesn't care to make the doctor at the ER worry because the doctor isn't going to worry. They're there to do a job and that's it. So it's a big difference. Hypochondriac, they really feel like they are ill. And, uh, you know, and my mother will come up with the craziest things. One of the biggest things is we always had dogs. If a dog sniffed her leg, she had cancer. Dogs can smell cancer. I have cancer. But anytime she ever went to the doctor for her checkups, do you think she ever told the doctor that the dog sniffed her leg, therefore she has cancer? Let's check it out. No, she knows that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> and even if a dog could smell cancer, that would be something that you would tell your doctor. I'm concerned because my dog smelled my leg. <laughs> you know, it's just crazy. And so many times before going to a doctor appointment, she would have this complaint, this complaint, this complaint. And when we get to the doctor, she tells them none of those things. And I have been to every appointment with my mother in the past 20 years. When she gets there, if she doesn't tell him her complaints and I bring it up, I'm fucking crazy. 
Oh no, that was something else. You just thought that I might be having a heart attack. I knew that I just had indigestion. So she will throw me under the bus. And I've never um, talked to any of her doctors in private because I just feel like, oh, they're not going to even listen to me. They're a doctor. They don't want to hear my opinion on my mother's mental condition. Never you know, said to them, my mother's narcissistic. I, and I should have. I would have liked for a doctor to confirm that. <laughs> so, but anyway, I just wanted to pass that by you. Hypochondriac, no. Narcissist who needs all the attention she can get, absolutely.